Are you wondering how the Supaikos can defeat the Palangas named Christ of Angola? I'm only feeling I would like to welcome you to Trending Cast. As the competition was originally supposed to happen last year, it was rescheduled for January and February of 2024. It is officially called AFCON 2023 for the purpose of emphasis. In two of their last five AFCON appearances, Angola's Belangas Negras advanced to the quarterfinals despite not being a perennial contender. Finishing second in their qualifying group, Angola secured the spot at the AFCON 2023. With nine points at the end of the qualifying series, the country from Southern Africa was only three points behind the winners of the group, Ghana, the Central African Republic, and Madagascar. The match between Nigeria and Angola on Friday at Abidjan Steady Felix Southwood Whitney will mark the 11th time the two teams have faced off since their first encounter in 1981. There's nothing much to separate both sides since their first meeting, but three years ago, with Nigeria winning thrice, while the Angolans have been victorious twice, lost five encounters that ended in stalemates. Coincidentally, the match will be on the same top the Super Eagles beat Cameroon in the round of 16 to advance in the competition. The game began at 1700 local time in Abidjan and 1800 local time in Nigeria. The Palangas Negras, however, have taken inspiration from their two greatest Afghan runs, which occurred in 2008 and 2010, when they both made it to the quarterfinals. To advance to the round of 16, they defeated Burkina Faso 2-0, drew 1-1 with Algeria, and defeated Mauritania 3-2. Pedro Congarves, the Portuguese goal, who is aiming for the competition's final, comes across as a humble man, but his tactical acumen has always been apparent, and he and his team have shown they are no pushovers at AFCON 2024, especially given how they improve with each game eliminating Namibia by three goals without a response. Our Wakras Gil Sandela and Auti Hearts Mugulu have scored four and three goals respectively in their respective attacking halves thus far. The 4-3-3 formation has been an integral part of the Palangas Negras play since their second game together and has helped them win. Becerro stuck to their 3-4-3 formation against Cameroon starting Stanley Mwambali in goal behind two seconds, Semi Ajayi and Calvin Bassi in defense, with Ola Aina and Saidu Sanusi on either flank as wing backs. In the midfield with Frank Unyeka, Alex Wobi got the start. Victor Shime, Ademola Lukman, and Moses Simon played the front line, which worked well and helped the Supaikos record another clean sheet. The 3 4 3 formation has proved to be the most effective of the four formations used against Guinea Bissau, Equatorial Guinea. Go to four and Cameroon. In this case, Shimon did not have to strike alone against Cameroon. Becerro must use the 3 4 3 formation in order to stop the flow of vital passes to the little combination of Jelson Dada and Mabululu in order to defeat Angola, whose most popular formation is 4 3 3. In order to assist those who will be playing from the wings, he will be needs to step up in the midfield and support Frank Onyeka, who is powerful in this situation. The player's readiness, both mentally and physically, will enhance team work. Using set pieces has proven to be an effective tactic in high-stakes games. Becerra needs to focus on owning set piece plays in order to pressure Angola's defense and generate scoring opportunities. The vulnerable passage through Angola's defense could be created through J. Balanga's position and the tactical inefficiency of Konyas for Bruno pass in the midfield could be exploited. To keep Angola on the back foot, Nigeria should strive to maintain high intensity and high pressure throughout the game. The team does not always display seriousness from the waist up. Consistently applying pressure will force errors and give the supply good scoring opportunities. It is a high pressure game. It's crucial to maintain focus and determination until the very end. It is imperative that the Super Eagles maintain their increased confidence against the Palangas Negras after their victory over Cameroon. The introduction of substitutes will inevitably alter the game's fluidity 
Nigeria should be adaptable enough to react appropriately. As far as social memory creates a more clinical approach, Nigeria will win if Gelson Dalla and Mabululu, two of the most little strikers, are staffed and prevented from receiving passes from Freddy and Estrella. This is because the majority of the attack originates from the flank. Thank you so much once again for watching.